Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI do-it-yourself tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about architecture and Power BI components. In the last video, as, as you have noticed, that we installed Power BI Desktop, which was a client tool, and we were able to connect to an Excel data sources or multiple data sources. Having said that, in this video, we're going to talk about different components and architecture of Power BI. We'll talk about desktop, BI service, Power BI mobile apps, on-premise gateways, Power BI report server, and Power BI embedded for APIs and you know embedded technologies. So having said that, let's get started and understand the Power BI architecture. So Microsoft Power BI do it to use yourself tutorials as we have uh, discussed earlier. We are going to talk about architecture. You have data sources, multiple data sources like DB2, Oracle, Big Data, SQL Server. In the last video, we used Excel data source. Can be used to bring in, in Power BI Desktop. Please note that this Power BI Desktop is a client installation which you have or you might have already installed on your desktop or your device at a client version, as a client version. Once you have created reports in Power BI Desktop, you would publish those reports on the Microsoft Power BI Cloud, which is Power BI Service. So this is available on the cloud, and it comes in three different versions or licensing options. The first is, Power BI free version, which is free and it can be registered using your corporate ID. So your public domain IDs like Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, Hotmail will not work. You have to use either your corporate ID or a student ID to create email ID to create Power BI free account on the powerbi.com website. I repeat, you can go to powerbi.com and create a free account using a corporate or student ID. If you want to upgrade it to pro, it's, uh, it's, the option is available. Uh, it's $9.99 per, per user per month, it's $10. And if you wanna go one level higher, which is Power BI Premium, it has to be close to $5,000 for per node per server. So there are various licensing costs and options available. We're gonna talk about that later. And then once you have published the reports to the cloud on Power BI service, you would use or you would create a dashboard or apps which, is, which can be shared or collaborated with other users. One interesting functionality which Power BI service is offering is QA, which is Natural Language Based Processing Service. This service enables you to ask questions on your data set using simple English. For example, you would want to find out what is my sales cost or what's my profit across regions or country, and it's going to give you the more most appropriate visualizations. All you have to do is write and type a question in English. So we, we are going to talk about that as well in the videos to come. And then you can access this Power BI service. You can share, collaborate using a web browser or a, a iPad or a tab or your mobile device. For, for corporates and for organizations who are not willing to share the data on the cloud or put the data on the cloud, there is an on-prem option, on-premise option, known as Power BI Report Server, which enables, much like Power BI service on cloud, on-prem. So it is inside and behind your firewall, which protects the data and privacy of the reports dashboards, and you know your your uh, your metadata and data, which are proprietary. Please note that the Power BI report server gives you a limited functionality as what you can find on the Power BI cloud service like dashboards and apps and natural language processing are not 
currently possible on an on-prem version and then the delivery can happen in the same way you can have a web browser access or iPad tab access or a mobile device access so this is at a very high level the architecture of Power BI so let's talk about Power BI desktop a desktop as I discussed is a client server based authoring tool for modeling and creating interactive reports Power BI service is a web based like a cloud service mobile apps you can create native applications for iOS, Android, and Windows for reviewing reports. On-prem gateway. So on-premise gateway is a component which will enable your Power BI cloud service to connect to the data source which are available on-prem. So what I mean is your databases, your data sets, your DB2 oracles which are installed on your on-prem that means your servers within your firewall if you wish to go to cloud which is Power BI service it's gonna use the gateway to extract the data from your data sources on-prem to put it on cloud so gateway is a very a secured way of transferring the data from on-prem to cloud. Power BI report server as I mentioned in the previous slide that it enables your on-prem Power BI report service and embedded is APIs for embedding visuals into custom applications. So we are going to talk about this here. So please note that this diagram was created by Dustin Ryans and you can find this diagram on sqldusty.com. So this gives you a very good understanding on Power BI architecture. So here you would see Power BI desktop and Excel components. So this is your desktop. Let's focus here. You would use to you would use connectors what I showed you in the last video get data to connect to Excel, databases and SQL server. And this is your Power BI report server, which is on-prem. So anything here on this side, like below this line is, is on-prem. If you wish to go to cloud, which is this part here, which is Power BI service, you would need to have Power BI gateway, which is a secure channel, creates a secure tunnel to pass through the data from your on-prem to the cloud and then you can publish your custom applications or Power BI dashboards. You can also connect to Azure uh, cloud services and there are a lot of options which, which Microsoft Power BI service on cloud would help you to gain. Moving on to the next one. As I mentioned, the Power BI Free, Power BI Pro, and Power BI Premium. The free includes, you know, no, no collaboration. There is no sharing of applications. The size is limited to 1 GB per individual data set. We are going to talk about that later. Uh, BI Pro includes everything on Power BI, but it provides you an ability to share and collaborate. Data refresh schedule is also possible but it's limited to eight times per day and premium it has everything what pro has with higher limits of data and ability to perform uh, you know distribute the reports to consumer it also includes a power bi on-prem report server if need be so these are various options on for power bi thank you for watching